start with composite resin direct filling. Many doctors have talked about this topic. Today, I'll tell you my own style and opinion. First, I'll explain the basic concept of bonding when using composite resin. Then, you'll see the video of my actual treatment. The bonded restoration is progressing the most in our industry, and Japanese bonded restoration is moving ahead in the world. It has not only single tooth treatment, but comprehensive treatment. This upper picture was the case of palp exposure. I could preserve tooth and nerve themselves as possible as I can and realize the least minimal invasion. The lower picture is the case of comprehensive treatment. These six anteriors were restored with minimal prep laminate veneer. Bonded restoration sounds simple, but there are many steps in it. They are how to remove carriers, what materials to use, filling, polishing, and so on. When bonding, material itself is important, but preparation in advance matters too, like removing sealer, cement, and plug by sand blasting. In this case, it has a big cavity, so I scraped it with the spoon excavator. Here, I could remove almost all the cavity, and you can see the pulp exposure. Then, I used the long shrunk round bar to remove the sensitive and difficult part, which has many nerves just behind it. Why did I use it? Because the long shrunk round bar doesn't cover my eyesight on the part. At this point, the pulp was exposed, but the rubber dome prevents the nerve from infection by saliva, blood, and breath. That makes me secured and confident to give treatment. So I use MTA to keep the pulp. After that, fill the composite resin on the contact area. And the point is, do it separately on the buccal and lingual area. At this time, I recommend to watch the part carefully while working on it. This way I can realize the less gap between teeth and composite resin. Such a big bulk can be cured by the bulk fill materials, because it will make a little contraction gap. For occlusal surface area, I'll take Zero Flow produced by GC Company, and it's a strong material, more than 170 MPa at 3 points bending test. Please look at this, you'll see the separator. It can make polishing the contact area exactly along the anatomical shape. This is the occlusal adjustment. At the beginning, black points appear only on the composite resin area but along the way, black points are increasing on the teeth. That means the tooth got in harmony with patient's occlusal. At the same time, I'm downgrading the polishing level. Finally, I like to use the polishing paste produced by the Evocula Vivident to finish the treatment. Then, here we go, it's done. With minimal invasive and it will achieve the predictability treatment too.